guys, we're here back with a brand new video. Now, I haven't uploaded in a while, and to celebrate, we're going to be talking about this. That's right, guys, the My Hero Academia manga. Now, what I love about the manga is everything. What the? What was, what was that? Barrage? So, since it literally tried to attack me, I guess today we are going to be talking about the manga Barrage. Now, for those wondering what the manga is, it's the first manga that was published here in the United States from the mangaka Kohei Horikoshi, who is most known for his third published series, which is, of course, My Hero Academia. Since My Hero Academia is his third published series, that makes you wonder what his other series were before My Hero Academia. As mentioned before, his first series published in the States was Barrage, but that means we only got two of the three series Horikoshi has ever made so that's the question that i want to answer first what were his other series what were the other things he was doing and real quickly we are going to be going over the timeline of kohei horikoshi the first thing he ever got properly published in the shonen jump magazine was a one shot called tenko published in 2007 it was a one shot that was uh, not popular enough but he wouldn't give up and he'd make two more one shots in 2008 those being Shinka Rhapsody and a one-shot called My Hero, which would be the groundwork for Sky High the anime. Although, I'm getting ahead of myself. His first published series was called... Yeah, I'm not even going to attempt to say that, but... Some translations of the series call it Crazy Zoo, so that's what I'll call it. It appeared to be about a teenage girl who worked at a zoo and maybe one of the animals is cursed or something? Honestly, I don't know. There's no easy way to get a hold of this series physically or digitally, so I just have to go by screenshots and volume covers I see on Google. So honestly, I don't know what the fuck is going on. Anyway, let's move on to the main topic of the video, Barrage. It's based on a one-shot Horikoshi did around the time Crazy Zoo ended called Space Boy, and the protagonist of this one-shot looks very similar to the protagonist of Barrage. This one-shot was successful enough to get greenlit for a series, and it would last for about 16 chapters, and the series would have been released in two volumes. With all that being said, let's talk about the characters in Barrage. Okay guys, so after that quick little introductory on Horikoshi's background into making mangas and all that stuff, it's time to actually go into this, you know. I'm actually really excited to talk about this finally. I looked at the cover and everything, it looks really good, and I'm not gonna lie, I did take a skim of the uh, brief description of the background. It's really interesting, and I'm not gonna lie. Wait a minute. Oh, oh my. There's no way. Wait. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. No way. It's gotta be a coincidence. It's gotta be a coincidence. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. I have to be tripping. There's no way. Oh my god. He looks just like th this motherfucker plagiarized himself! I'm joking, of course, but I'm not gonna lie and pretend that I don't notice some similarities in the designs of characters in My Hero Academia to characters in Barrage. Let me explain what I mean. There's a character named Chima in the series, and her appearance looks very similar to one, Ochako Uraraka, or the second main character of the series, Tiamat. I think that's how you say it, that's how we're gonna say it in the video. He has what I'd say somewhat of a similar design to Shota Aizawa in my personal opinion, but that's all up to you at the end of the day. Uh, there's obviously going to be more similarities and parallels to My Hero Academia, but with all that out of the way, let's just talk about some of the characters and their personalities. The first character I want to discuss is the protagonist himself, Astro. He's a character with messy blue hair who lives in the slums of his hometown, struggling to make ends meet, working a job he doesn't love, but he does it to support his adoptive family. 
Since he was abandoned by his blood family, he values family and friends above everything in his entire life, and he tries his best to see others, even if they're evil in nature. Now, I'm not gonna lie, he's pretty much your generic Shonen Jump protagonist with the power of friendship and family motivating him to try and do better. But there's this charm to Astro that I can't describe that made me keep reading even though he's pretty generic as Shonen protagonists go. The next character I want to discuss is the secondary main character who is Tiamat. He's the vice captain of the military in Industria, the world in which Barrage is set in. He has long red hair and a serious demeanor, most of the time. However, this serious demeanor and all his strength can quickly be suspended if he's around a woman. He has a huge phobia of them and goes as far as to hide in a room whenever one of the servants in the royal castle appears. He essentially reminds me of this guy named Long Ku, Long Q, I don't even know how to say it. He's a character from Fire Emblem Awakening if anyone's ever played that game. But if not, they're essentially like really badass characters and really strong characters. But they have this one flaw which is that they're weak to women or... I guess more accurately when women appear. It's a character trait that I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of, but it can grow on me if it's done right, and I feel like it is done right in the case of Tiamat. Now that I've gone over the main characters of Barrage, I kind of want to end this segment here. I don't really feel comfortable going into more detail about other characters because that gets into real spoiler territory, in my personal opinion. So just in case you want to read the series and have some surprises for yourself, I'm going to end this segment here, and we're going to just talk about the first chapter itself. Okay, so now that I've looked at all the character designs and all the personality traits, everything like that, I think it's actually time to start reading this. So I'll be back in a few moments. A few moments later. Wow. Um, wow. That was actually pretty good. Okay. I'd be lying to myself if I didn't say I enjoyed the hell out of the first chapter of Barrage. It's a really good introduction to the world. I liked how expressive Astro's expressions were, and the world building was good. But I'm not going to praise this series anymore. The theme of family was shoved down my throat too much. Like, I understand it's a huge part of the Barrage story, and especially Astro's character arc, and that the bond that family can have can be so strong, even if it's not necessarily by blood, but come on. I'm not watching The Fast and Furious. I don't need that stuff constantly shoved down my throat, otherwise I just watch those movies. But besides that, it's a really good story that I feel like ended way before it could truly thrive. And, cool little fun fact, there's also a lot of parallels uh, to My Hair Academia in the paneling structure. I'm gonna have an example up here. So yeah, that's actually a really cool fact. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. So overall, I actually really like Barrage. I can confidently recommend this manga to you guys. Now, the way you guys can check out this manga is by buying it on Amazon or buying it at Barnes & Nobles or whatever your local bookstore is that carries manga. However, if it's on any of those sites, you guys can go on, you know, Viz Media, the app of the Shonen Jump app, as long as it has access to the Shonen Jump, Jump Digital Vault, excuse me, uh, that's where you can just buy or read any manga. It's pretty good. The subscription is only two dollars a month. If you were able to do that subscription, it is something I can confidently recommend. And uh, yeah, and the next video on the channel here, we're gonna go over a specific series. So let me show you guys. Actually, I can show you guys what series I'm gonna go over. All right, guys. So yeah, the next time we're gonna be on the channel talking about a video, we're gonna and. Get this out of here. It's Demon Slayer time, baby. Yeah.